Some weird behind the scenes things, some mojo hocus pocus. I'm not sure how that happened, but whatever. Welcome all my lovely goblins and ghouls up here. I'm Hanyo, your demonstra pal. And we are jumping back into Higarashi tonight. God, it's the curse coming. It's the curse coming. Uh, this chapter, or episode, book. Whatever you want to call these segments. No, oh, it just gets worse and worse and worse from that from right here. There's no more happy points in this chapter. No more happy points. Oh, there's one. There's actually one very good happy point. <laughs> but I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Uh, sorry for jumping in really late. Um, I was going to say some dumb excuse to make it all up. Say like, oh, I'm so sorry, I had to do this, I had to do that, I had to do this. No, I'll well, just be honest with you. I got stuck eating dinner, and when I was about to close up, I got stuck watching this film. And, um, like I told you guys, um, we have Disney Plus, but only like for the year. So it actually ends on tonight. It actually ends tonight. And, um, you're watching this old classic. It's called Paul Yana. Oh, yeah, nah. It's from 1960. It stars the little girl from the original Parent Trap. Which, what's her name again? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Haley Mills. Yeah, her name is Haley Mills. And it was actually really good. It was really good. The ending's kind of um, cheap. It ends with the injury of a small child, which is effective. And I've been hearing that a lot the last few years. That um, from reviewers and from some writing teachers, that having a, a small kid get injured or um, xed off, is, like it's like cheap emotional points, which I don't fully, I don't fully comprehend. Because it is slightly the point you want the you wanted to hurt, you wanted to make it you wanted to hurt you, you wanted the, that feeling to come across. Thinking all those people who said they were parents, so I don't know. Remember that's something I only understand when I I not think I'm a papa. I, when I when I become father. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Alright, alright. No self deprecation, deprecation, self self deprecation. Let's start the story. Huh? Is it actually going? That's kind of weird. Is it going to see something? Okay, it's not doing it. <laughs> Because I, I, I told you guys, I only have the laptop. I don't have, like, other monitors, so. I was, like, I was moving the mouse over the OBS viewer screen, and it's, the game is tracking it, the mouse. Like, it's, like, I can click it, but I can't. I gotta pull the, I have to pull the game up over the screen. Now, last time we are here, I think we have some tips to read. Let me see. Tips, tips, tips. Do the tips. Case 31. There's no... Okay, no, we're all caught up on the facts of the story. And the game sounds kind of loud. Actually, no, you guys can't even hear it because I have it muted. <laughs> there we go, that's better. I will turn down a little bit soon. Let's get going. Okay. I think we did it right. There we go. 
go in the chapter six. We are in chapter seven. Oh, sure. I went home and washed the day's sweat off in the shower. Normally, I could rest everything by taking a shower and forgetting all the bad things. But that didn't happen today. I got out of the shower to find fresh underwear placed neatly in the laundry basket. Normally, I didn't stop to think about it, but today, I felt happy in my mother's consideration. At the same time, however, it made me realize that how much Sadako must be suffering. At the very moment, I was appreciating the gentle kindness. Sadako might be being... might be... What? <laughs> At the very moment, I was appreciating the gentle kindness. Sako might be being rude by her uncle's cruel words. Went up to the second floor and shut myself in my bedroom. Then, facing my desk, I folded my arms. My topic of thought, of course, was Sako. We thought that if we could just get a public agency to intervene in the right way, the problem might be solved. But with the coach said, I didn't, I didn't think it would be so easy. Sadako was obstinate, and she would stubbornly deny the abuse and try to endure it. And that was an act of atonement towards Satoshi, who had protected her before her and then ran away. As long as she thought that way, the situation would be, wouldn't be so simple. But earlier, before coach, before coach, I made a clear declaration. If I thought Sadako was in danger, then I would do what I had to do. In the end, that meant I was just going to wait and see too. Nevertheless, I thought I'd drawn a clear line. Then coach or my friends had. If the time came, I would report it. Over the phone. Given Sadako's personality, she might criticize me if she found out. But I believe it was ultimately the best situation. Best decision. Decision. Best decision. Wait. Keiichi Marbara. Would that really be all it took for the problem to end? Say that I reported to the public agency, like the Child Consultation Center. What if they snuck, stuck to their wait and see attitude like last year again? Last year, they decided to do just that, end the situation in Peru temporarily. But then the aunt. Think yourself a laughing stock and increase her torment in secret. In the end, things became more underhanded than ever before. This year, it was her uncle. I had just seen him for the first time today, but the man seemed much more direct, much more violent than the word underhanded could apply. He wasn't like their aunt. No. Not that subtle. He was more direct. He might also assault her with punches and kicks. That could easily be discerned from the bruises and such I saw on Sadako's body. Shit. You're too naive, Keiji Marabara. However heroic it may seem to report what was happening, if it doesn't save her, then it doesn't mean anything. Reporting things to a public agency was only one option, and leaving everything to them would be dangerous. We would need something more to guarantee Sadako's safety. I scratched madly at my head, thinking, then tilted it back, wanting to at least a little bit, wanting a 
least a little bit of calm. The memories of an ang of angry arguing with my friends today came to mind. I was embarrassed that I hadn't realized it until Rena said something. She was right. My house is big. Compared to all the houses with the straw back roofs and Hinamizawa, it was really big. We did actually have empty rooms. I never thought that we were affluent, but also never that we were poor. I just didn't admit it because people would think I was arrogant. But maybe my family really is wealthy? Ah, my mouth is really dry today. <laughs> We have few rooms we could lend to Sataka. Biggest rooms are only in use when people relate to my dad's job come stay every once in a while. Plus, if we clean, clean up a few of the rooms my dad uses for storage, they could work for her as well. As for food expenses, that might be a more serious problem than a kid like me could imagine. Lunch every day would be manageable. All of our friends would just have to bring a little bit more for lunch than they usually did. But they're lying picking at pecking at everyone else's food anyway. It would be manageable. For breakfast and dinner though, that would be up to mom. I would need to convince her to lend Sadako more than just a room. Of course, I didn't even think I don't even think convincing her of that would be easy. How, but, but how much did it cost for one person to eat? How many tens of thousands of yen per month? They couldn't complain about it if I showed, showed her that, could they? I only have 10 or 20,000 yen in savings, but it was something. Actually, I had even more, thanks to New Year's gifts money and such, but my parents had taken all of that and put it into a fixed time deposit. If I could get access to that, it should add up to a lot of money. And if I got that far, I should ask Ma, I should ask Leon and Irena to share some of the burden. Of course, I wouldn't depend on that. Rena got mad at me, didn't she? About how I should just shove responsibility onto others. I have to ask for help. Even so, I'd basically be saving her myself. I would follow through on it. Oh, but it wouldn't be only food expenses. There were a lot of other things that we couldn't do without, like baths, laundry. Her mother was awfully methodical and strict about cutting out efficiencies. And for once, that was troublesome. She might even make reference to the money it would cost for the regenerate Sadako would use for her own clothes. Detergent. Detergent. I couldn't think only about food expenses. I needed more money. Hey, wait, kids in Marabara. Since when was all this about money? Even if you could afford it, you would still need your parents' permission first. They be looking after a young girl for a really long time. So what I say to the Sage? Cause, how are you doing good tonight? You just log I just we just logged on like uh like five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. We actually started the game. How are you doing? What would I say to persuade them? Just calm down a little bit, K A T Marbar. And you realize right away that you can't. Even if you ask them seriously, 
They would tell you to call the police. It's a wonderful day, how am I? Yeah, it was an okay day. Didn't really get anything done content-wise, just more job hunting, cleaning, cleaning the house, and yada 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 yada. Yeah, nothing that special. Even be managed to gain their empathy. Why should the Marbara family have to shoulder all that burden by itself? That's what would happen. That was it. It was, it was very sad and frustrating. But no matter how much I wanted to help, my resolution alone couldn't save anything. Yes, you are little. I felt frustrated. I believe my feelings were stronger than anyone else's. I even thought that they were stronger than Kotsu's. And yet, at that point, there were two knocks at my door, and Mom poked her head inside. Arisa wrapped up in his thoughts and didn't hear her. Ah, um, I'm go. As someone financially dependent on his parents, I shouldn't say this, but... I just sat, I just sat around, doing nothing, and food suddenly appeared. It felt so natural to me that I seamlessly thought of it as the responsibility of the parents who gave birth to me. But when I realized that natural thing was actually a right, I came to realize just how hard it was to grant that privilege to others. Even the boring meal in front of me, no better than it ever was, had more meaning than that tonight. There was food for three on the table right now, for dad, for mom, and for me. I couldn't imagine how hard it would be to add another person, another place, a table. Think, Keiji Maba. It was hard to make food for the poor. Then just think about how poor people could eat food made for three. Oh, I changed the way I thought, and with that I began to consider an unthinkable, bold plan. That's right. I didn't need my parents' permission. She could just live in, just live here in secret. I got upset. I got upset when I found out. Well, I got upset when I found out a while ago. But if I remember right. If you climb out the window and shimmy down the first floor roof of the gutter, you could go in and directly out of the house from my room. Sadako's physical ability far surpassed my own, so it would be easier for her. I hadn't even thought about it, but her living here in secretly was actually necessary. Actually a necessity. If only I I only had to bring Sadako to my house when the public agency said they would wait and see. In other words, if Sadako's uncle continued to be her guardian, if, in such a situation, word got out that she was here, her uncle would barrage in and drag Sadako back with him. Her uncle was her rightful guardian, so my parents would hand her over without an argument, no doubt. So. I needed to keep it a secret that she was living here. If it needs to be a secret, then having my parents' help would mean a lot, but you gotta deceive your allies first, like they always say. Oh, who said that? I never heard that much before. Okay. Persuading my parents was an unrealistic proposition. So, I'll search for a way to have her live here in secret. 
When I was around, she would just have to be really quiet in my room on the second floor. The issue was the daytime. She was hiding from her uncle, and she shouldn't go to school. It might be lonely, but not going would be the better option. I could easily teach how to go to stuff she learned in her grade. Actually, during school, I mostly helped all the younger kids out rather than sitting on my own. During the day, I would go. I would need to go to stop school, so I wouldn't be at home. My parents respected my privacy now that I was this age, so they wouldn't go snooping around in my room while I was gone. But I think if she hold up, hold herself up in my room, it would be okay, right? My parents did come, thanks to where the second floor was. She could hear their approach from the sound they were coming up the stairs, and there would be a little bit more, a little bit of time before they all got all the way up. I estimate a few seconds, so she would be able to hide herself in the closet. Wait, wait, Keiji. Something doesn't make sense. If she can't go to school, then what will she do for lunch? Calm down already. I could just leave her my own lunch, couldn't I? I sh should just go to school without lunch and get everyone else to split theirs with me. With me. Okay. That's good. No more contradictions or oversights, right? Oh. Breakfast and dinner. I could somehow get her to go without breakfast. I can go with two meals a day when I sleep in on Saturday Sundays after all. Every night, I pretend to go as though I had a bigger appetite and ask for a bigger helping. And then I could just somehow get part of that topic as a test. I stood, stood up from my seat with my plate of fish in my hands. ご飯は座って食べなさい。うん、うん。ちょっと気分が変えたくなってさ。自分の部屋で食べてもいいかな。ボロボロ落としてよごすぞ。食事は食卓で食べなさい。うん、ごめん。ああ、なんかんどぼ
I might need to construct some sort of camouflage so that she wouldn't be noticed even if they did open it. But the more she worried about that, the less time she have to actually hide, meaning it would be more likely they hear noise. And then, I suddenly had to go to the bathroom. The bathroom? They need to use the toilet. So obvious, and yet such a fatal flaw. The only bathroom was on the first floor. It would be absolutely impossible for her to use it without my family realizing. I might, I might need to have a portable toilet. Like a chamber pot, I guess. Sadako would hate that. So she could go in my room? But the stench would be pretty terrible. Anyone sensitive would probably notice the smell without even coming into the room. The bath was okay, though. She could just take a bath when my parents were out. But I couldn't do anything about a toilet. And her stomach started to hurt as my parents were releasing about downstairs. She'd be in trouble. It was then that I noticed that I'd been clawing at my head with both hands. I sat down in the dark closet with my knees against my chest. I buried my face in them and tore out tore up my hair. The more I thought, the more contradictions popped up. The more I thought, the more things failed. The more I worried, the more I remembered how little power I actually had. My back started to hurt from staying in the cramped space for too long. But if I was to shelter Sataka, I would need to force her to feel this pain. To live in such a dark, narrow, suffocating place. Forever. But it would still be better than being abused by her uncle. Or so I want to think. It got hard to breathe. So I gave in and clawed out the closet. I looked at the clock. And to my surprise, it was 3.30 in the morning. What were you doing? You were just eating dinner with your family. So maybe at the latest 9 o'clock? I wake up at 3.30. And I'm bad with time, but I'm not, I'm not that bad. If I had felt like, if it had felt like so little time, but it was so unbelievably long. When I realized that I slammed with, I was slammed with a terrible urge to sleep as if the time had only caught up with me. I didn't have enough strength to fight it and fell flat onto my futon. Shit. I can't go to sleep like this. But I wish any time that, that me, I'm taking, take, taking the same wait and see attitude that Neon and Coach and everyone else did. I need to keep worrying about how to rescue Sadako for a minute or even a second longer than every, everyone else. Isn't there a better way? Isn't there a better way? That one phrase I spoke to myself swirled around and around in a spiral and suddenly took over my entire mind. For my last moment of consciousness, I thought that there was a lot of blind spots in what I considered tonight, but I absolutely wasn't wrong for having those ideas. Tomorrow, I would suggest this bold plan to the others. Mion might be able to help somehow, and Rena was really sharp, so she might have a good suggestion. And above all, we need to rescue Sadako once again without everyone helping out. I felt a pathetic need. I felt pathetic for letting myself fall asleep. I'm sorry, Sataka. I'm done with this segment? Okay. <laughs> that was such a, such a roller coaster. But, uh, Gog, we are probably need to cut it short today, a little bit shorter than normal. So we might stop around 9 or 9.30. Mostly because I have the other final scrap to for her tomorrow. 
the ceiling blurred into view. It was hot. There was a thin layer of moist sweat on me. The voices of cicadas permeating my room were somehow grating to my head. Ah, le. I remember today was a weekday, and I quickly brought myself to consciousness. And then, finally, it leapt out of bed. The clock read a little before ten. I was totally late. When I wandered downstairs, my mom would get mad at me. There was nothing I could do, though. And after reviewing the schedule for today for school for the school day for a moment, I suddenly rearranged my stuff in my bag. I hurried and got dressed and went downstairs. <sighs> there was no sign of my parents anywhere. Maybe they went out somewhere together? So that's how it was. My mother had probably woken me up once this morning, but then I fell asleep. I fell back to sleep without remembering it. My parents, thinking I'd gone to school, left. Something like that probably happened. I went to the front door. I suspected it was locked. It looked locked like I was. It looked like I was right. It was further evidence of my spectac my speculation, speculation being correct. When I realized my parents weren't here, I suddenly felt less like I had to rush to get to school. There was one portion of breakfast left in the dining room. Probably mine. The milk they poured in had gone warm since a while ago. When I realized how hard it would be to sneak food for Sakako. Yesterday, I had cried. Well, thinking back on it, food wasn't the only issue in that regard. It wasn't in a position where I could care for Sakako by myself anyway. It's such a heavy thing just to save a single person. I've seen this on TV and in comics all the time. Those feel-good words about how you'll save your friends for sure and such. Was that why I ran my mouth like that? Slurring to save her because I wanted to feel good about it? No. That absolutely wasn't true. Because the fact was, I couldn't save her. Because I didn't want to think of, like an adult. Like I couldn't do anything but watch. Had Sadako gone to school today? I immediately realized that I was a meaningless question. Whether or not she did, there wouldn't be a change in the environment she'd been placed in. If I couldn't save her, then no one else could either then we could only pray for a miracle. Are we? Of course they did. Once the clock came around, you could barely call it morning anymore. I didn't feel like walking the same old school route. I needed to ultimately end up there, but it was like I didn't want to choose the shortest route, the most proactive one to get to school. Put in more positive light, maybe I would want some time to walk by myself and think. I had to wait. Partly to make sure Sato was safe. But I hadn't come up with any plans yet. Nothing since last night. So the path I took from my house was in the complete opposite direction. If I went this way, I passed Rena's house and the dam site. It would be quite a detour. I calculated how long of a detour it would it would end up being. Then satisfied with the answer, I started to walk. 
Rina had brought me to the damn site a few times. Our section of it had turned into an unlawful, oversized garbage dump. And Rina really liked going fishing for junk there. Without that, she come off as a complete normal girl, too. I can think of a few other qualities she could do without, but whatever. The view quickly the view opened up wide, and I was hit by a strong wind. There was no shelter here at this big damn site. Maybe it was a good thing I came here, I thought. At the very least, it was more healthy to think about stuff in a place like this instead of my cramped bedroom. I took a deep breath and filled my lungs with the rich, cold air unique to Hinamizawa. I turned around reflectively. It was a bicycle bell. Considering where I was standing, I don't think they were trying to get me out of the way. They rang the bell because they wanted something from me. Ah! A long time no see, Tomotaki boy. Long time no see, looking pretty wild. Hey, excuse me. You're from Hinamizawa, right? Yes, why? I see this person around a few times. Right, I remember. His name, I think, was Tomotake, a freelance photographer who lived in Tokyo. He would seriously visit Hinamizawa every season to take pictures. Or so me on the others told me. フルデ神社ってここからどう行けばいいか教えてもらえないかい今、you when I realized it was meant my meant my detour actually meant something. Felt feeling faded quickly. Oh, shit, I'm all right. 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 Kimino Yojua. Oh, yes, but also no. Tomatake's son smiling appeared to have realized how strange it was for a student like me to be here at this time of day. I smoothly told him not to worry about it, then turned my back and started walking toward the Furude Shrine. Tomatake's son hurried to turn his bike around and came after me. Go, <laughs> men, go, men.気にしないでくれよ。男にはそしきを離れて一匹狼に<笑> It seems absurd for him to introduce himself when I was just showing him to the shrine. But he gave me his name, so I need to give him mine back. I'm Marbara. Good to meet you, I guess. Marbara time. Good to meet you. You seem like a pretty silly man, but that felt kind of good considering I've been suffocating with Wario and Sasuke. Along the way, Tomodaki-san spoke. He spoke at length to me about how precious the nature in Hinamizawa was, and 
how it was a treasure trove of rare wild birds, despite my not having access. I wasn't interested in what he had to say, but he seemed to be enjoying himself, so I let him do it. この石段を上がれば神社の境内ですありがとう助かったよああちょっと遅刻しちゃったかなあら、前原くんじゃないこんにちは。今日は学校はお休みかしらあれなんだ、ケイチくんついてきたのかいべ、別にそんなつもりはないですよ。ただ、ちょっと時間つぶしがしたかっただけです。あらあら、重役出勤とは優雅なものね。さすがは有名人<笑>今から大物ぶりを発揮してること私の名前はまだ思い出せない<笑>高野美代さんだよ高野美村の診療所に勤めてる圭一君は健康そうだからあまり病院のお世話にはならないかな何で<笑>せっかくお知り合いになれたんだから今度病気か何かできたらちょっぴりだけサービスしてあげようかしらね<笑> This lady, Tanaka san, I kind of didn't remember her. Maybe we passed each other on the street a few times, but I was pretty sure this was the first time we talked. Well, this is Shinamizawa. Even if I don't know a person's name, it is not unusual for them to know mine. I glanced at Takano san. ひょっとして2人とも写真仲間ですかあ,あそれで待ち合わせを仲間でなんてとんでもない<笑> oh, why I heard like、that? 素人の私に次郎さんが優しくてほどきをしてくださるだけなのよねえんあ<笑><笑> What? Oh, yes, 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 we're just、um, playing around. So, 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 <laughs> yeah, he said that right. いよいよ明後日が綿流しね。Oh, the festival is the day after tomorrow. Okay, we're getting close to Watanagashi. 今年はいい写真が撮れるといいんだけど。明日の設営シーンからレンズに収めるつもりだよ。そういう準備風景からもお祭りの活力を捉えたいんだ
Oh, I just remembered. There was some village festival called Otsunagashi, or something, the day after tomorrow, on Sunday. Hinamiza no Mamorigami, Oyashiro Tamani Kansha Surutame, Furui Futon Otsumi Kasanete Kuyo Suru, Sonao Matsuri de Stake. Ara, Gometo, Mai Barakun, Kostik Tabakari Nisteva Hakushkine. Oh, thank you. So. <laughs> Tanako-san smiled somehow meaningfully, but didn't tell me what part of festival to think Oishiro-sama needed to be laughed at. Yare, yare. Takano-san wa. Demo, dou daro ne, kotoshi wa. It happens twice. It will happen a third time. So, 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 it will happen a third a freak death always occurs, which people all people call Oyashiro Sama's curse. A disappearance occurs that people call being demoned away. These strange events have happened four years running, and Watanagashi, rapidly approaching, the day after tomorrow, marks the fifth. Murano Kyutekini Tatario Nasu Oyashiro Samaka. お年もあるとして果たしてその矛を受けるのは誰になるだろうね。おお、いいインディ。あ、僕はここに来るたびにちゃんとお参りしてお再選を入れてる。僕じゃないことは確かだよ。Are you sure about that? Yes, 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 yes. I am a citizen of Hinamizawa, so please don't curse me, Oishiro Sama. Jiro san wa mai toshi kuru dake no tada no yoso mono. Saate, kotoshi wa minogashite moraeru ka shira? Eh, hidoi na. Shomentaki-san was the only one with a hair, a pained grin. But we were all smiling, me included. Oi Shiro-sama, the one who used to use a curse to kill people involved with the damn construction project, one after the other. He killed the damn construction manager, killed Sadako's parents for supporting it, and then the next year he even killed her aunt hey you're missing the third year Rika's parents if the demoning away was part of the curse then you could add Satoshi to the list of victims as I thought about it I realized in the serial freak death incidents the overwhelming majority of the last names were Hojo Half of the deaths and disappearances that come from the Hojo family. The Hojo family lived here in Hinamizawa. Did that mean Oyashiro sama punished and cursed them particularly harshly because despite that, they had been in favor of the dam? Satoko no oji ga kaete kita te hanashi wa kiite masu ka? No, don't ask them. Don't ask them. Tanaka-san, who had been enjoying a few words with Tomotaki-san, was caught unaware by my sudden inquiry. Ah, sorry. What are you doing now? No. My sister's father was a little girl. If you were a girl, I thought I was going to be a girl. You're too fast. 
去年のたたりでおばが無残な死に方をしそれに恐れをなして町に逃げていたやつですよお社様は確か村を捨てて逃げ出そうとするのは許さなかったですよね no, But those words, they just float out of my mouth without me thinking about it. Right. Oh, Yashiro Sama's curse. Speaking of curses, I think I need to、uh, pause this for a quick moment. Just for a quick moment. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, now I got over the, 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 the tiniest break, but I was being demoned away by, by Oshiro Sama.
Go back, go back. Going. Whew. I didn't believe in something so unrealistic, of course. But the fact was that every year, unfortunate accidents and incidents happen to enemies of the village. Like Tomiko-san said just now, it had happened four times. No one could say there would, wouldn't be a fifth. ふーん。面白い説ね。確かに過去の犠牲者を見れば、北条政が多いのは事実。その延長として考えれば、今年はおじが死ぬか消えるかする可能性は否めないわね。ああ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
then what was Oli Shiro-sama, really? あら。あなたが言ったのよ。ここは人間しかいない世界だって。全ての現象は人間で解明できるって。ケイチ君。<笑><笑> I want Tanaka to go and look at me. Takano-san, ne, Oyashiro-sama no tatari o meguru ichiren no renzoku kaishi jiken o ne, Hinamiza no murabito ga nanika no gishiki ni motozuite okonatte iru jinhi te ki sasujin jiken de nai ka to mite iru nda yo. Why are you telling this to impressionable young man? Gokai shi nai de ne.私はそれに至る教義や思想、文化を民族学的見地から研究することがライフワークなの。別に犯人が誰かなんてことには全く興味がないのよ。そこだけ勘違いしないでちょうだいね。はい。うん。Tell you're forced to feed a duck to be fattened. She forced her words down my throat. That's what I felt like. So mo so mo sore o likai suru tame ni wa Hinami Zawamura ga oni ga fuchimura to yobare te ita kodai ni made sakanobara na kereba nara nai. Demons of death. Oni ga fuchi. Oni to chi o majiwara se ta to shinjiru. Han nin han ki no sen nin tachi ga. They're only half human. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
It didn't seem like her extreme passion for this research would calm down just because things, these things were taboo. Or because it was safer and easier. This person loved walking through the profound, forbidden abyss of risk and taboo. So they could I need Shinayo, Cage Gun. Ah, there you go. Hey, it's the first time I did this stream. Yeah, go back to the other button. Oh, yeah, I have the mouse. I have the mouse plug. I use the mouse. No, I don't have that problem. せっかく助けてあげたのにまたお社様のたたりの話が始まっちゃうようーん涼しいうちに散策に行きたかったのになあ。I know it's bad, but it's gonna be so much hard for your mental health than this. And that was about whether Satoko's uncle will be chosen for the curse this year. If he was, then another miracle would happen, just like last year. A terrible incident would happen again, but it would release Satoko from her unfortunate circumstances. まあもちろんおそらくあの辺りの人たちが関わってるんだろうなっていう憶測は持ってるわよ鬼ヶ淵村の歴史を研究していれば自然と至る必然的結末それは誰です But he got no reply. So, what do you do? I don't know. I d e As though nothing in the world would be more amusing. She was probably trying to tease me, but I didn't feel like going along with her looking one bit. Oh, I don't know. 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 I had felt a tinge of irritation at Tanako's son's roundabout way of speaking. But those emotions escape my mouth, like water flowing through a strainer. Even if I was surprised at how jerkily I'd spoken about what I, what I had felt. Of course, I wasn't the only one taken aback. Ara! Itte kureru wa ne! Boya na no ni chouhatsu made dekiru no? Igai ni yasei teki ne? Hirai ja nai wa yo? Souyu no. Tanako-san's tongue poked out of her mouth, and I was convinced that it was long, thin, and split in the middle, like snakes. Oh, that's a pissed face. I've never seen that before. But if you tell me, I'll tell you. But if you tell me, I'll tell you. But if you tell me, I'll tell you. What? I won't be able to tell you what I'm going to tell you. What? I gulped firmly and nodded. Tomataka san made an exaggerated expression of distress, gave a dry, vague smile, and lit a cigarette. Tell me. Who is the one? After I said that, I finally realized why I want to know. Ah, the segment's already done. Alright, what time is it? 8 38. You can still keep going, still keep going for a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
me and my classmates were playing freely in the schoolyard. It is already recess, so it's past, past lunch, or right before lunch. A few of them had just run out of the school building after putting on their shoes and tapping their shoes to the ground. Or tapping their toes to the ground. It looked like they just finished eating lunch. From a time manipulating standpoint, I guess they succeeded. Maebara-san! Daijoubu-nan-desu-ka? You girls know it's me. You can't run me over. It was only natural they were worried. You think if someone wasn't there in the morning, they'd be out for the rest of the day. まあ、その…遅刻さ… Yeah, you're a little beyond late, buddy. The girl exchanged glances. She, she, she. I saw a thin shadow fall over their faces. And I knew the answer without needing to hear them reply. Sadako was absent today, too. When all was said and done, after being out, out three days, she only come back for one. But now she was out again. Who knew she would come tomorrow? Um. But Sato-ko-chan's phone call was coming. The teacher said. Wait, what? It was coming. Yeah. If everyone went home, we should have a plan to get out of the house. The teacher said. Wait a minute. She didn't say. That's a little too thick-headed, don't you think? You're a teacher, aren't you? Why can't you be more sensitive and catch on to the fact that your pupil is sending out an SOS? But even if she did, there's nothing you could hope for. The most she could do was home the station. She didn't have any right to take Sadako from her uncle in safety. No matter the result, it would end up just like the public agencies, with a wait and see attitude. That could just piss Sadako's uncles off, and her suffering would only grow deeper. Then, wasn't it strange she had a call the best option? So that's right. みんなも風に気をつけろよ。もう行っていいぜ。昼休みはまだ長いぞ。the girls silently scatter into the schoolyard. Keichika! <gasps> Rina was yelling out the classroom window, waving her hand. A moment later, Mion and Rikachan poked their heads out too. Keichi made o yasumi shimashita kara. Totemo shimpai shi... Demo yokatta. Kao iro mo sonna ni waruku nai shi. Toriyaizu genki so. Hey guys, sorry I was a bit of a dick last time. I felt a little uncomfortable with her saying that I didn't look sick, but I didn't care about that much. What happened? Are you crazy? I'm crazy. Or if you say I'm crazy, I'll help you. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Mia was being a bit persistent. Was she going to put on her clippers and cap and scold me for being late? Well, maybe she didn't have it in it, in it for me. So I briefly stated that she was late. まだね、お弁当あるよ。みんなで食べよう。やっぱりね、ケイチ君がいないと盛り上がらないよね。サトコは休みなんだな。even Rena feigned cheerfulness couldn't stand to hear that and her face darkened. Oh. Asa, there was a call. I heard. The wind was blowing and then I'll rest again. I said it was a long time. A while, no, 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 no. It's a shame, so... みんなでお見舞いに行こうという話が出ていますのですよ。何言ってんだよ、リカちゃん? Oh, I don't like that tone in his voice. 
Not pleased with Rikachan wearing a white smile as though it, it was a happy occasion. I threw cold water on her. Wait, literally? You know Rika, you know Rika by now. She's go with the flow. She likes to ma she likes to mask things with pretty words and cute things. Until she's not cute. <laughs> you know, it's for everyone. Yeah, it is. 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 Rikachan furrowed her brow, looked down, and mumbled an apology. ケイチ君だけじゃないよ。みんな辛いよ。俺だけが悩んでるなんて思ってない。でも、みんな何もできないのは本当だろ。それはそうだけど。で、でも。I got the feeling I would cause another fight if this exchange went on. So, I apologize first. <laughs> it was at least clear, how, however, that I was the only one who had worried so much about rescuing her. Now, This is a dumb kid. All his emotions are new. It just... Uh. At the very least, everyone else probably got the normal amount of sleep last night. Yes, because Rika is Sadako's best friend. You know, her... <clears throat> her quotation mark friend who she lived with for a year doesn't give a shit about her. Yes, KG, you're the only one who cares about Sadako. Probably had good dreams too. And they definitely hadn't stayed up all night thinking so desperately. Yeah, that yeah, not a good point. They had some time to process it. Huh? ケイちゃんはたまにちょっとつ盲信なところがあるからね。今朝佐藤子と一緒にケイちゃんも休んだ時、佐藤子を家から連れ出してどこかにかくまったんじゃないかって本気で思った。It <笑> He thought several paragraphs about it. Easy for you to say. If I could have, I had done that last night. None of them had really thought about how difficult that clear as day solution was. I was up thinking all night, thinking up until the night was brightening. And then I concluded that. Baka ka omae. Ningen hitori kakumao nante. Dekiru mon ka yo. そうだね。ごめん。気を悪くしたなら謝るよ。別にいいよ。それより飯にしようぜ。腹が減ってんだ。I took my bento box out of my bag. Everyone moved to make a spot for me to sit. Maebara-kun. Oh, not her face. 今来たんですか? Uh, no. We were here all day, Peach. She just didn't see us. May need to get new contacts. And as I was about to stick my top skin, she sensei came along. Ah, hi. Chikokuste, smimase. Nebo smashte. What the heck? Even the teacher is giving me that strange look. Obento tabetara. Incho to my barakunwa. Shokuin stuni kitekudasai. Hi. Choto, hanashigari masnode. Probably about Sadako. I thought. Since they left it at that and went back into the hallway. Bento Kuma de Monaidaro. 
行こうぜミオうんそうだねミオのアイシーンスルクスノーアイシーンショーダーインガダサトコちゃんの話だろうねノーダーバーディ They were saying she had a cold, but everyone in class knew the truth. I didn't think that would have reached the teacher's ears by now. Revealing the truth to the teacher would only worsen the situation. Was that why she hadn't said anything? Or was it because she was Sasako's friend and knew that she was trying to endure? The trial of her uncle's abuse in order to get her brother to come back home. どうする今のうちに私たちなりの統一見解を出した方がいいかもね。リカちゃんはどうしたいみー。Sago's closest friend, closest and best friend was Rika Chan. However, much as I pretend to be her Nini, It didn't come close to the amount of time they spent together. So I felt like her opinion should be held in the highest regard. I'm going to ask you how to tell me how to tell you. Everyone looked startled and turned to me. I'm going to ask you how to tell me how to tell you. I'm going to ask you how to tell me how to tell you. I'm going to ask you how でも結局そのせいで兄が逃げてしまったんだとサトコは思ってるあリカニョーズ誰に聞いたのかな監督かサトコはおじのいじめに耐えれば兄が帰ってくると信じることによって今を耐え抜こうとしてるのかもしれないでもそんな思い込みとサトシが帰ってくるのはまたサトコには悪いがそれが現実だ。サトコは多分誰の助けも喜ばない。自分一人の力で耐え忍びたいと思ってる。でもそれを尊重してやるのが果たして正しいだろうか。That's a hard point. That's a hard one. I don't know. I don't know. Her decision making isn't the brightest. I'm going to be the one who is going to be the one who is going to be the one who is going to be the one. I told them all about what I saw and how I felt when I went to Sato's house yesterday. ケイチ君は話すべきだと思ってるってことだねもちろん公的機関への通報でサトコが保護されるのが確定してからだその確認のないうちはサトコをかえって危険にさらすこともありえるからな難しいね先生との会話の中でその確約ってのが取れるわけ I had no confidence. But... We had to try. Meanwhile, Rika Chan had her hand raised for a while, as if asking for an opportunity to speak. Keiichi, ni, makase masu desu. Eh, ii no kai, Rika Chan. Keiichi wa, koko ni iru dare yori mo Satoko no koto o kangaete imasu desu. Sono Keiichi ga, hanasu beki toki da to handan shita nara. 僕は文句なんか言わないのですよありがとうミオンもレナもそれでいいかミオン seemed to, has, seemed to hesitate not knowing if she should agree but when she saw Rena's firm nod she made up her mind and did the same よし行くぞミオン Alright let's go Oh 
only tea since today was in the teacher's lounge. <clears throat> we didn't see the principal anywhere. The schedule on the blackboard under the principal's name said, Training, going straight home. Our principal's sense, principal's sense of justice was too strong. Felt like this problem wouldn't be solved with something so vague. Maybe it was a stroke of good luck that he wasn't here. When the teacher saw Mia and I come in, she closed up her curry bento, saving the rest for later. She told us to take a seat in the chairs directly in front of the principal's seat. I had sat in that in this chair since doing the paperwork for transferring in. The two of us sat there, uncomfortable, before the teacher walked over, carrying a notebook in a ballpoint pen, and sat in front of us. Maebara-kun, today-was-午前-中-お休みでしたけど,何かありましたか? Ah, I was just overthinking. すみません、寝坊です。本当に? Sensei-ni-uso-itte-mo. She narrowed her eyes and stared at me in suspicion. Now I was sure of it. She wanted to talk about. She wanted to talk about Satoko. Matsu, two of us are friends. I think you know, but your friend's father is away for a few days. Neither Mia nor I had anything to say in response, but the teacher proceeded, not minding. What do you know? Are there people in class who are making fun of the class? Mia looked down and remained silent, as though she's being lectured. She sent me a quick glance. Everyone had made up their minds. They be leaving. They be leaving things to me. Inchou. Maebara kun mo. Sensei wa betsu ni okotte run ja arimasen yo. Moshi mo shitte ita ra. お教えてほしいとお願いしているだけです。先生、先にこっちから質問してもいいですか？まず。<笑> It's like I, I forgot. I, I forgot this was a game, and I was trying to blow the screen up because <laughs> I wanted to over this it for a quick moment. <laughs> oh no! Let's go back. Where where where? Sensei, can we ask you a question first? She must not have anticipated. <laughs> she must not have anticipated that response. She looked surprised. I don't know about. I don't know what rumors are going around about Sadako in class. But if those rumors happen to be true, what do you, what do you do, Sensei? What? Well, well, what would I do? If it's true, then. I can't leave it alone. Can't leave it alone? Exactly. What will you do? Since those eyebrows shot up, maybe I said it like I was trying to pick a fight. Marbark, I'm being serious here. So am I. I'm also being completely serious right now. Please answer me. If it were true, what wouldn't you leave alone? Sensei took a few breaths, then began to speak slowly. ジョキョを確かめるために北条さんの家を家庭訪問します。おじに隣付けられて追い返されるかもしれませんね。まあいいや。仮におじとサトコに会えたとします。それで、そして真意を聞きます。その事実が確認できたなら。指導します。指導って曖昧な言い方はやめてください。
具体的には何をするんですか Even despite my tone being so productive, proactive, she sensed a bit back her emotions and listened calmly. I thought then that she was a good teacher. She sensed they really did have her students' best interests at heart. But she didn't have the power or the authority to save Sakako. She let her sense of justice run away with her. The situation would get more complex. Sensei folded her arms and for a few moments she closed her eyes as though mentally concentrating. And then, and when they opened again, there was a strictness in her eyes I never seen before. ジドウ福祉法という法律があります。この法律で児童に対する虐待は何人に対しても認められていないことが明記されています。らしいですね。それで。沖ノ宮の生活相談所へ通報しますさっき前原君は追い返されると言いましたねこの相談所の職員は必要に応じて警察官を同行させることができます同活には絶対に屈しませんその福祉士というお役所の人は連絡して書類で申請して何日後に助けに来てくれるんです即日です彼らの仕事は児童の安全を緊急に保護することですから知ってますよ緊急性があると判断された場合ですよね認められなかったら先生と同じ指導をして様子見をするんですよね見てるだけ佐都子のおじの機嫌を悪くして佐都子をその場に残したままそれっきりケイちゃんちょっと言い過ぎ嘘はついてないだろう。No, you're not. But, ah,、uh, no, no. This whole situation is just nasty. 去年だか一昨年だかに児童相談所が来た時がまさにそうだったんだろう。その結果どうなった？俺よりもミオや先生の方がよっぽどよく知ってるだろうが。God, his voice act is going hard. <laughs> I had said too much. I didn't need Mion to tell me that. I was talking crazy and itching for a fight. I was supposed to be telling her about the situation only after I was sure we could save Sakako. But I basically told her everything right from the start. She instead looked at the clock, stood up, and picked up the, picked up the phone at the principal's seat. Mosh Mosh, Nice and no, San Yong Go Go, on a g いいのケイちゃん本当に大丈夫かな、no right、お世話になっております雛見沢文庫教諭の知恵と申しますが指導室の渡辺主事はいらっしゃいますでしょうかはい、ええ、ちょっと休養がございまして至急校長と連絡が取りたいのですがはいお願いします緊急とお伝えくださいよろしくお願いしますふたりにもう一度だけ聞きますクラスのみんなの噂はすべて本当なんですねはい俺は昨日里子の家に行って実際にどういうことになっているのか見ましたあとは先生に任せてください里子ちゃんはきっと先生が何とかしますなんとかいい加減なことを言わないでくださいなんとかじゃない絶対でなければならないもしもまた様子見なんてことになったら先生はどう責任を取るつもりですか<音声>もしもしあ研修中申し訳ありませんはい実は例の北条さと子さんの件でお話がはい先生は言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言ってたら言
Mion went to leave, but I held my ground. No, what are you gonna do? I had a responsibility to make sure she stopped saying such vague and ambiguous things. If I didn't look like she was going to say anything substantial, then I'd tell her tell them the truth, even if I had to steal the phone away from her. Hi. いえ、まだ相談所には。はい。まだ確認はしていませんが、クラスの子の話では相当な様子です。相当なんてもんじゃないぞ。すぐにだ。今すぐ何とかしろ。通報するなら、どこへだっていい。でもな。もしも様子見なんてことになってみろ。ただじゃ済まさないからだ。I don't angrily assent. In the principal on the other end, I wanted to, I wanted to somehow, some way, convince them to just, just convince them just how dangerous her situation was right now. それは分かっています。ちゃんと伝えますから。委員長、前原君を連れて教室に戻りなさい。Yes, I glared at Sensei. She, Sensei, was feeling pressured by the likes of me. Idiot. This isn't the time to feel pressured. And now's the time when you give in, give me a firm nod to reassure me. Even so, we've already left things in her hands. At this point, we really can't do anything but pray. Pray. Man shut the door to the teacher's lounge. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I got two tips, okay. I guess we'll finish the tips and we'll I have to call a night. So View our tips, view new tips. Article! What type of article? Article 2. Definition of child abuse. The term child abuse means the following acts committed by a custodian, meaning a person who exercises paternal authority, a guardian of a minor, or a person, or other person, who is currently engaged in the custody of a child. Here and after, the same shall all the same shall apply. Against the child, meaning a person who is under 18 years of age. Hence after, the same shall apply. One. Assault the child in a manner that will cause or is likely to cause extern external injury of the body of a child. 2. Engage in indecency against the child or cause the child to engage in indecency. 3. Substantially reduce the amount of food for the child or abandon and neglect the child for a long period of time in a manner that may interfere with normal development of the child mentally or physically or otherwise material materially fail to perform the duty of custodian or Four, speak or behave in a manner that would be significantly traumatic to the child. Article 3, for probation of child abuse. No person shall abuse a child. Law number, Act number 82 of 2000. Author authorized by the Minister of Health and Welfare. Alright, well, the Japanese law is actually kind of cool. And standard human laws. <laughs> that should be all around the world. Year 19. Principal abuser. 
in case report it to the Minister of Health and Welfare. Um, no, don't show us her like this. Don't show us her like this. Total, 5,352. Mother by blood. 2,943, 35%. Mother not by blood. 203, 3.8%. Father by blood. 1445, 27%. Father not by blood. 488, 9.1%. Year 19. Instances of types of abuse. In case reported to the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Total, 53.52. Physical abuse, 2780, 51.9%. Neglect, abandonment, 1728, 32.3%. Psychological abuse, 458, 8.6%. Forbidden from going to school. 75, 1.4%. <sighs> Sexual violence. 311, 5.8%. Why is that preview music popping up as soon as that one, as soon as that one showed up? No, 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 not subtical, not subtical, not subtical. Th they hinted at that in the anime, but no, 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 no. No, 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 all right, I think that's where we're gonna stop for tonight. Make it a quick, a quick night. Hey, look at that! Look at that! There's two of us. There's two of us now. <laughs> there's one. There's two. There you go. Race stream today. Thank you, thank you. But there is one other thing we I want to do real quick. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, let me get this off. Give me a moment. Then you check something. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Where is my one screen? There it is. And I have the audio section here. Okay. I do want to check this one thing out. Okay, we're gonna minimize this. <laughs> Probably gonna look, does it look weird on your end? I'm just doing this so I can still see the screen. Still see those chats. Just in case. Just in case. Alright, new trailer for Chucky Season 3. I am... Um, I'm concerned. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be good. I really, really hope it's gonna be good. I love Chucky. Chucky's one of my favorite uh, horror horror icon, horror villains. But season two was it, it was missing something. It was too silly. It wasn't as scary. Chucky was stupid. They introduced all these new ideas and concepts and killed him off right away. I mean, it looked like they're having fun. We need to do get no <laughs> no 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 <laughs> maybe maybe I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind but let's see what the actual trailer is like actually he would fit right in with Marvel he would fit right in with Marvel <laughs> but let's check the trailer out real quick let's check it out okay we in the White House Daddy I'm still gonna work with you today what, what is this up here get off. 
David's Oh, was back. <laughs> Auto tilt. Don Mazzini. So Chucky's gonna take over the Please, White House. Mr. President, did you ever find the letter opener? I did not. I also managed to lose track of Henry's doll somehow. No, no. Every. Kill. Alright. Ew, what the? Subscribe, damn it. I'll be back. I always come back and so should you, you moron. <laughs> All right, okay. Look, that's a nice little teaser. I mean, that's what a teaser should do. It barely tells us anything. But it looks so far we're going to stop following the main trio. So maybe no Devin or Jake. Or Lexi, or probably just very little of them this season. And uh, Devin Sawa playing another character, which, all right, I I like it. I like that meta concept. I like it's a fun running joke. But what what the what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Yeah, what, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I know I'm harshing on the CGI, but Chucky's always prided itself on using very little CGI for the doll. And I hope this isn't something they're going to use in a lot. I hope it's only for like this one or two shot. Or maybe this is due to the, um, the strikes. You know, they had to shut down production, so they're rushing certain things with CGI that they didn't have, that they wouldn't normally do. But, I don't know. Hopefully this takes place during season two. Like, so they can fully explain why there's multiple Chucky dolls again. Since last season they kept going on and on and on and on and on and on. That there's no more Chucky dolls. There's no more. This is the last one. Which, bullshit, 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 bullshit. Which, I don't know. It's going to be fun. It's going to be silly. But I just want it to be scary again. Be like season two or the second movie. Just be creepy. Let Chucky be Chucky. And be scary Chucky, not dumb Chucky. We like scary Chucky. Please don't do a CS Don. <laughs> Please make it good. Please make it good. All right, though. Hopefully it'd be good. Oh. But yeah, here's the coin flip. That I talked about <laughs> the other time. Because I'm still curious, still wondering, like, I want to keep doing, about what to do with Miles Morales. Are we going to keep him on Twitch, or is it going to be on YouTube, or is it going to be a back and forth for me to try to grow both channels? We're going to flip it, okay? We're going to flip it. So, heads on Twitch, tails, YouTube. All right, let's go. I'm close my eyes. Close my eyes. Yep. Just up. Just up. Up, heads! Okay. <laughs> Cause it is then. Never mind. Fine it fine fine it be. I'm curious about, I'm curious about the YouTube channel anyway. <laughs> okay, no, I do need to go. Thank you all for showing up. I highly appreciate it. And tomorrow we finally start Miles Morales to start about start the Miles Morales game. Which is, I did actually did play um on on Twitch like a almost like a year ago. But I was only like the, um, it was like the side missions, like the final stuff to get out of the gameplay. It wasn't the, the main story. But we'll finally do the whole main story, and by the time this ends, we can, um, the second game will come out. Or should we do the third game? I don't know. Do you consider Miles Morales a true, a true sequel or just, I don't know. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Still a fun game. But yeah, I'm gonna head off. Have a good night, everybody! We'll see you all later, all you- What was I trying to say? <laughs>
I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good, have a good night. And it's bleak dreams and some horrible, horrible nightmares. And this show. That's a new, new thing he did. He goes, the end screen spike. I know it's a little, a, a little dumb touch, but I like it because it feels more natural. Like the, uh, like the film is running out. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's stupid, but I love it. Okay, really good. Bye bye.